YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to be checking out Butter's very own episode. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, Mom, I'm all John Rapp and Dad's anniversary present for you. Oh, is it someone's anniversary soon? <laughs> oh, you. Just kidding. Oh, I wonder what it is. How about on Saturday we all go have dinner at Bennigan's? Bennigan's? Oh, boy, you mean it? Whoopee, at Bennigan's. I'm going to get the right hand baby back ribs. Calm down there, cowboy. You've still got four days. Four days? Oh, I don't know how I'm going to wait that long. Who's the boy that... That has, like, um... So far, it has like a like a sitcom vibe to it, like with the effects and, and the little sounds that they play in the background. You know what I'm saying? You can laugh at a storm cloud, turn a frown into a smile for free. Who's the kid with a heart full of magic? Everyone and he got his own little uh, intro to it. Who's the boy with eyes full of wonder who thinks being yourself is the best thing to be? Who's that rascal with the tweezers in his pocket? Everyone knows it's Butters. That's me. Jumping in puddles, skipping down the hallway. Petting goes to the petting zoo. He loves John Alway. Who's no that tyke with the cutest little dimples? Batting his eyes at every puppy he sees. If you look inside yourself, you might be surprised when you find a little boy named Butters. Well, that's, that's me. Yeah. The Butter Show. Yo, that's a, that's a good intro, man. I like that. We'll eat at that's... 72 hours? Oh, gee whiz. Well, if you two will excuse me, I need to go out and buy a certain special lady her anniversary present. I hope he means me. <laughs> Don't be silly, Mom. The stuff, the stuff. Me. I'll be back in a little bit. Butters, you're in charge of the house. Yes, sir. Butters, maybe you could secretly follow your dad and see what he's getting me. You mean spy on him? Uh, but ain't that kind of like fibbing? No, it's a little different. You remember when the nice policeman gave you a badge and made you an honorary inspector? Inspector Butters is on the case, ma'am. You go to the pawn shop? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> Yo, y'all peeped the mustache. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He got to be, he got to be in disguise so he doesn't get caught. What the hell was Fisting Fireman 9? Bro, is this is this a is this a prawn theater? Hmm. Dad's going to see a movie. How nice. Big pause. Big Men's Bathhouse, The White Swallow Spa. Yo, what is happening? White Swallow Bathhouse. Everyone knows it's Butters. Well, that's me. I'm back, Ma. Oh, hi, sweetie. Did you get to follow your dad around? I sure did. Dad sure had a nice night out. Well, did you see what he got me for our anniversary? Well, first, he went to see a movie. What was the movie called? Fishing Fireman 9. I never oh. seen one through eight. Oh, my God. But it must have been a real short movie, though, because Dad came out like ten minutes later. It must have been a sad film, too, because he had a bunch of tissue paper with him when he came out. Oh, oh my God. God. To him. Butters, where did Daddy go after the movie? To the gym. To the gym? Yeah, the White Swallow Spa. Ah. Yep, he went there and he wrestled with all kinds <laughs> of guys. He wasn't too good, though. There's one black guy had him pinned down for 15 minutes straight. Oh, my God. Butters, are you sure about this? You have to be absolutely sure. Inspector Butters gets all the facts. Huh? Bro, he's straight up just snitching on his dad, bro. Day oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Inspector Butters gets all the facts. I even got some neato pictures. Oh no! Busted, bro. Yo, son, son. Pops is getting his cheeks clapped, bro. Oh my God! He is low key in the closet. 
The only thing I can't figure out is why Dad told you he was going shopping for your present when he was going out seeing movies and rustling. Yo, oh, she's... Oh, did you have a nice trip, Ma? See you next fall. <laughs> 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 He said, did you have a nice trip, mom? See you next fall. Bro, Butters literally just, like, destroyed her life by telling her all of that, bro. Paint must oh paint. Oh, my God. Everything clean. Paint. She's well, going honey, crazy. the entire house three times. Must paint. Everything clean. Everything new. Say, Butters, I'm having real trouble finding an anniversary present for Mom. Any ideas? Hmm, I can't think of one. Well, then, it looks like I'm going to have to go out shopping again. Ma, paint. Everything clean. Ev Bro, my man's just looking for any excuse in the book to go get his cheeks clapped. <laughs> what the hell? This is nuts. Literally, literally, literally. Everything new. Paint. I'll be back in a little while. I don't think Daddy's shopping. I think Daddy's going out wrestling again. Yeah, she she went paint, crazy. Paint, paint, super Must be made crazy. Clean, new. Hey, a new paintbrush. That's what Dad could get Mom for their anniversary. I gotta go tell him. Must clean butters. Clean. Must kill butters. No, not butters. Paint. Butters. Oh, that's me. One, please. Naka two thirteen. The thing. No spitting, <laughs> free lube Wednesdays. What the hell? What happens in here stays in here, bro. Ah, oh. Butters. Hi, Dad. Oh God. Oh, oh. I'm glad I found you. I think I know the perfect anniversary present for Mom. What are you doing with your wiener out there, Dad? Right. You'd need to leave here right now. You need to get out of here. Go home and wait for me to talk to you. Oh, all right then. We'll see you at home. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, what have I done? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why was he in there by himself? This dude literally just went there to, to beat off? Like, you could have done that at home, bro. That doesn't make any sense. Everyone knows it's Butters. Well, that's me. Butters? Oh, Butters, could you come see me in my study real quick? Son, I want to talk to you about lying. Oh, I know lying's bad, Dad. You told me so. Yes, it sure can be. But there are also times when distorting the truth a little is appropriate. Oh. These are called little white lies. Little white lies? You see, sometimes telling a little white lie is okay. Like, for instance, when you catch your father jacking off in a gay men's bathhouse. <laughs> uh, who's Jack? Butters. The he point said, is that who's Jack? <laughs> Bro, he's so innocent. And I think that if you told Mommy what Daddy was doing tonight, well, she might go completely insane. Oh, no, that won't happen, Dad, because I already told Mom and she's fine. You, <laughs> Butters? Damn. Mommy wants to take you for a little drive now. A drive? Oh, boy, I, I love a good drive. Is Dad coming, too? No, sweetie. Daddy needs to sit and think. All right. See you in a bit, Dad. Oh, boy. Bro, Dad, Dad is scared. No! Bro, she's about to drown butters. Just leave your husband or, 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 or do something to your husband. Don't do anything to butters. Butters already got it rough as is in the neighborhood. You feel me? Damn. Butters, you know that Mommy loves you an awful lot, don't you? Well, sure I do, Mom. I love you, too. And sometimes mommies do things that seem hurtful to their babies, but it's really for the best. Oh, you mean like the time you washed my mouth out with soap for saying nutsack in front of Grandma? Yeah, I need to behave myself. <laughs> if a mommy has to end her life, she can't let her baby alone in the world to be raised by a sick pervert. Well, sure, that makes sense, I suppose, yeah. Hey, did you see my men's anywhere? It's cold out here. I'm going to get out of the car now, Butters. I want Bro, he trusts her so much that when she's like, it's not fair for me to leave you here to be raised by a pervert. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. He trust, yo, he has so much trust in his mom that he's just rolling with, with what she's saying and he has no idea what she's about to do to him, bro. You to stay put with your seatbelt fastened. Oh, well, all right, Mom. Oh, okay, then. Oh, no. Yeah, I think the car might be moving, Mom. 
Yep, I'm pretty sure the car's moving. Looks like I'm heading for the water. Shh, shh. It's okay, baby. Mommy will be with you very soon. Uh, I think that, yep, it looks like the car's... Hold on, why does she just go with him if that's what she's gonna do? Like, where is she going now? Going up with water. Yeah, I think maybe now might be a good time to come back inside the car and drive, Mom. Dear ass face. Yes, that's it. I will no longer... <laughs> Linda, what are you doing? Stay away from me, bastard! Linda, I know this is very hard. You don't know anything! I've been wanting to stop going to those places, Linda, but I couldn't. I still love you. Then why, Chris? Why? Because he's in a it closet. Just, it started with some curiosity on the internet. I would chat with other married guys in the chat rooms and, well, the things they would talk about, Linda. I, I don't know why I found it exciting. I just did, and it, and it grew from there and spun out of control, and... Uh, damn you, internet! Bro, it's not the internet. You're gay. Like, just accept it. You feel me? It's okay. I just got to get separated and go your, your, your own ways, bro. Like, it doesn't have to be like this. You feel me? Don't have to worry about your family being in your way anymore. No, Linda, I don't want that lifestyle. It's just kind of an addiction. I want help, and I'm going to get help. Please just give me a chance to make this all up to you. We can have a normal life. There is no going back, Chris. Our son is dead. What? I killed him. I was going to end it all, and everything spun out of control for me. I drowned butter in the car, Chris. Oh, no. Ah. No, no, Jesus, Linda, what were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I couldn't think. You destroyed my life, you. Oh, God, what have I done? Oh, butter. Go look this for him. This is a bad dream. Just go look. away. They could be doing other stuff right now, right? Like, for example, looking for butters and making sure he's okay. But instead, they're over here arguing, going back and forth, just wasting time. Y'all yeah, can figure that out later. If you guys are cool now, go look for butters. They died. No, Linda, we... I'm a murderer, Chris. Yeah, you I are. I have a life now. <laughs> Linda, butters is gone. Oh, Christ. Butters is gone. There's, there's nothing we can do about that. But I won't let you go to jail, I promise. Linda, please. Ah. Ah. Oh, he's straight. Oh, boy. <laughs> that must be all the way down to Denver by now. Let's go. Butters is good. Oh, Ooh. Finally. Well, now that the car has come to a stop, it's safe for me to unfasten my seatbelt. Boy, Mom must be worried sick about me right now. I gotta get back home. Gee whiz, where the heck am I? I'm standing in front of the home of Chris and Linda Stotch. They're living every parent's nightmare right now. As last night, while Miss Stotch was driving with her son in the car, a man stopped her, put a gun to her head, and took her son away. When Yo. asked who the man was, Miss Stotch replied, some Puerto Rican guy. <laughs> Naturally, the police are on an all-out manhunt for some Puerto Rican guy. Oh, it looks like the parents were about to make Yo, a statement, Yo, they're Tom. lying so bad. Mr. Stotch, any word yet from the man who took your son? No, no, not yet. But if you're out there, we beg you. We just want our baby returned safely back to us. Mrs. Dodd you know, you know what's crazy about this, bro? There's been there's been cases where the parents were either the parents or a parent has offed their kid. You know what I'm saying? And have gone to the news like this and played victim like they never knew what happened. Ended up getting caught, right? There's been a number of cases. I can't think of, of uh, any names right now. Um, but it just definitely happened. Um, I know one dude was featured on Netflix, and I think he did it to like his wife and his and his uh and his daughters, RIP to them. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's it's a crazy world, man. This isn't far off from from what's happened before. What did the kidnapper look like? Puerto Rican. Was he tall? Short? He was Average Puerto Rican height. <laughs> Please just bring our baby back to me. But well, that's me. Puerto Rican height. Okay, whatever so that means. Me, saying you took my rubber bands. Yeah, too bad you're not abroad, because I need some goddamn poontang. Yeah, I could use some goddamn poontang myself right now. <laughs> Have you ever been to Bennigan's, mister? Oh, it sure is great. I'm going to Bennigan's tomorrow night. He talks night my so much. Oh, I can just see it now. We'll walk in the front doors, and the next nice Bennigan's closest lady will take us to our cozy booth. 
He's fed up with his well stuff, watch. Appetizers. Dad will open his present, Mama will open hers. And then the Bennigan's wait staff will sing. Happy, happy anniversary from everyone at Bennigan's. Happy, happy anniversary from everyone at Bennigan's. Happy, happy anniversary from everyone at Bennigan's. Happy, happy. Oh, are we stopping for something? It's happening. Happy, 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 <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen, like bro. TGI Fridays. <laughs> nah, bro, he just doesn't like you. Let us handle it. Bar Brady. Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, oh, hell who yeah. Is who is this? Uh, is this the Stotch residence? Yes, are you calling about the abduction? No. Oh, are you Puerto Rican? No. Oh, no. We need to keep this line clear. Call back another day. It wasn't the abductor, Bro, sorry. It was it was somebody Too better. Much. It was Butters. Oh my god. What an idiot. This is John and Patsy Ramsey from Boulder. We saw your story on the news. We were so sorry to hear about your loss. Our daughter was killed a few years ago in our house. Yes, I remember hearing something about that. A and we realized the man that murdered your son must be the same person that killed our daughter. Yeah, because we certainly didn't do it. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my well, God. Well, our son was abducted. We don't know that he's dead yet. Right. <laughs> Let's me. <laughs> Sir? Hello? Ah, uh, what can I do for you? I have to get to South Park. If you give me a ride, I can pay you the $4 I made at the titty bar. Sorry, well, I've took the car to Estes Park for the weekend. Won't he be back until Sunday. My man's made four bucks at the strip club. Hey, uh, I can give you a ride Sunday if you like. I can't wait till Sunday. I'm meeting with my family at Bennigan's tomorrow. Well, then, looks like you're walking. You want to go to South Park, you got to go down that road. <laughs> Oh, hell no! Nah. Of course, I ain't never seen anyone go up that road. Six years ago, a group of campers went up there and got lost. Had to eat each other to stay alive. Used to Ooh. be the way to the O'Reilly house. He butchered over 50 children and kept their bodies in a cellar. Ooh. Well, you should find an old bridge about halfway up. That bridge is cursed, you know. They built it with the bones of 200 Chinese laborers who were massacred in 34. Yeah, oh, my God. A lot God. of on that rod. Yo, he's a trooper. Oh, he's a trooper. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done it, bro. I would have, I would have, like... I don't know. Figure something out, but I wouldn't have walked. After everything that's happened there, bro, the bridge is cursed. Um, homies eating kids or, or, or killing kids and, and, and stuffing them in the basement, bro. Nah, we ain't doing that. You feel me? I don't got to go home that bad. At least not today. Or is South Park down that rod? <laughs> yeah, what an idiot. It's so very hard to lose a loved one, isn't it? Here he is. John, Patsy. Hello, Gary. Great to see you. Chris and Linda, this is our good friend, Congressman Gary Condit. He also lost someone close to him and thinks it has something to do with the same Puerto Rican guy that hurt our kids. We're going to get that son of a bitch. I spoke with the FBI and some Puerto Rican guy has just made their number one most wanted. <laughs> oh, good. Maybe now they'll catch him. Oh, here's another member of our support group. OJ. Hey, guys. OJ. Chris, Linda, OJ Simpson. Oh, sure. OJ's wife was killed by some Puerto Rican guy, too. <laughs> yep, it was some Puerto Rican guy, all right. So you see, Chris and Linda, there are people like you all over the country who have been affected by some Puerto Rican guy. Yo, hey, this let's make Chris wild. and Linda an official part of the group. Yeah! yeah. All right. One of us. One of us. Gooble gobble. Gooble gobble. One of us. One of us. Gooble gobble. Gooble gobble. One of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. Yeah, that's nuts. For family fun and great food too. Come on down to Bennigan's. <laughs> Buffalo wings and fried tree sticks. The best are for He's brave, man. I gotta give him that. Uh, hello? Well, look how scary that is. He's what, like eight or nine? Come on. So come and eat at Bennigan. You love all of what is that? Oh, nutsack. <laughs> Everyone knows it's All right, so what happened there? Why did he have those three dots on his forehead? I thought a UFO was about to take him. You know what I'm saying? Then you heard chimps in the woods, which was weird. 
You heard growling. I, I don't know what's happening in there, bro, but all of those were indicators to me to run. You feel me? To get out of there as fast as I could. No, Linda, because you can't now say that the abductor was Costa Rican. You have to learn to keep it straight. I can't keep it straight when you keep inventing new parts to the story. Hey, don't... I can't keep it straight if you can't keep it straight. See what I did there? Forget that I'm covering for you. Don't forget your oh, lies started all this. My lies may have been deceitful, but your lies cover up something much more horrible than anything I ever did. Happy anniversary! Not now, Butters. Oh, all right, then. I Butters? Oh, Sutters. Sutters. I don't believe it. Oh, I'm sorry. The car just rolled it into the lake and then floated oh, all the way down the river. I took oh, my room, but it didn't work. Back. I ain't grounded, am I? No, no, Butters. Oh, son. We're... Oh, uh, we're going to need you to tell a little white lie about where you've been, though, all right? Stop right? lying oh. already, man. Yes, uh, darling, you're going to have to say you don't know how you got home. No, you have to say that a Puerto Rican man dropped you off. No, oh, who's going to believe he would just drop him off? Hey, you well, should stop Well, we don't really have a choice, it's do we? You're the one who made up the stuff about the Puerto Rican, idiot! Well, stop it, Mom and Dad. Well, you're the one that couldn't back it up with a description, Why are they shoving stupid? each other? Now, gosh darn it, you! You listen here! Now, I am sick of these harmless lies and little white lies. You know... You can call a shovel an ice cream machine, but it's still a shovel, Mom and Dad. <laughs> and you can call a lie whatever you want, but it's still a no good stinking lie. Let and her go, Butters. you covering up one lie with another lie, why, well, that's when you get into real trouble. But I've just about had it up to here with you two. Hey, put his foot down. Let's Butters. go. We have an announcement to make. Uh, our son has been returned to us. Butters was missing? But oh, that isn't my all we have God. To say. Yo, I don't like his friends, bro. They are not good kids for him to be around, bro. They don't even like him. Like, they don't even know he went missing. You see, we learned a very important lesson tonight, and it took the smarts of our young son to show us. Yeah. We've learned that deception is wrong and that the only thing to ever make it right again is to come clean. Yeah. You see, I'd been deceiving my wife for several months. I was going to gay movie and bathhouses and having sex with random men who were complete strangers. Bro, why is he exposing himself in front of everybody? He could have just kept that to himself. I was going to gay movie and bathhouses and having sex with random men who were complete strangers. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and when I found out, I went crazy. I went crazy and I drove my son into the lake to kill him. Huh? It kill me? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Damn, dude. So you see, Poor kid. there was no some Puerto Rican guy. He doesn't exist. And so the people we owe the biggest apology to are the Ramses, Congressman Condon, and OJ. No, we no. The biggest apology you owe is to is to your son Butters. What are you talking about? Those guys are, are guilty as hell, bro. Like, you don't owe them an apology at all. Gave you false hope for finding the person who hurt those close to you, and we're sorry. Now we're just happy we won't have to live a life of secrets. For I knew that even though some of you supported us, some others were looking at me and thinking, You're a liar! You're a liar! You know something that you're not telling us, you <laughs> slimy scumbag liar! You know, that's what people would say to me. And then people would see my wife in the supermarket and they would say, hello. But they'd be thinking, ah, there goes that murderer. You got away with murder, <laughs> murdering, lying, He's waste talking of to life. them, bro, without even and knowing it. And to me, people might say things like, liar. Tell us what you know, you goddamn liar. And so to both of us, people all over town would be saying things like, you know goddamn well what happened to your kid, so stop acting like victims and confess, you murdering murderers! Confess! Liar! Confess! You know, and that's what people would be saying to us, and so we just had to come forward and tell the truth. We're sorry we lied to you all. It won't happen again. And now if you'll excuse us, this family has to get to Bennigan's. Hey! Oh! Let's go. Oh, no, but look, he's traumatized. Wow, dude, your dad's a perv and your mom tried to kill you. Yeah, <laughs> boy, you fellas sure are going to rip on me in school now. We sure are. I really wish I didn't know that stuff. I guess I learned that sometimes lying can be for the best. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, well, when I have a Chipotle blue cheese bacon burger at Bennigan's, I'll forget all about my dad being queer and my mom trying to kill me. That's I'm going to be okay. Really? No, I'm lying. <laughs> Let's go, son. Well, coming, Dad. Everyone knows it's fun. He's trying to give himself hope. Yo, that, that was a really good 
episode. But sound off in the comments below. Let me know what episode is next from South Park. And I get to it ASAP. Do me a solid. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. In the meantime, I am out. Peace.